Welcome to the weather forecast for the week beginning Friday, March 29th, 2024. Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth for Longmont Public Media. I've had stuff shift around in my weekly schedule, and maybe I have to switch to Fridays as our start of the week. I don't know, but this week that's what we're doing. Monday, April 1st, no joke, sorry. Third quarter moon in the early morning sky as we're getting closer to a total solar eclipse. I'll have some details and weather forecast for that uh, Texas and North um, for next week. Uh, probably won't be Friday. I'll try to get it out on Wednesday. But one more quarter moon until uh, the eclipse, until this thing's covered. A uh, big mass of sunspots that caused lots of aurora over the, uh, the Earth over this last week or so it are now rotating away. Looking at drought conditions, we had a little bit of decrease in drought in the south, and about two-thirds of the state is drought-free. Looking nationwide, we saw a big decrease in drought conditions and a big swath on the Great Lakes of the desert southwest. And for smoke and the fires down in the southeastern states, it's wrapping around out there, but the west is clear for once, speaking year by year. Okay, let's take a look at the animation for snowpack. We stayed below normal until our big storm brought us to normal, then another one popped its way above, and then the latest has us heading for this mean peak uh, actual water content uh, median. So this is snowpack depth, but this is taking into account how much water you get if you melt it, and we are kind of aiming for it. So if we can just keep the snow coming in, we'll have a good water year. Overall, 108% of normal. Last, last storm, Sunday into Monday, we got about four or five inches, which is over my forecast. I thought about half inch to three was reasonable. And then down in Boulder, five, six, almost eight inches of snow. Um, up in the mountains, nine, eight, here's 11.5, uh, 11 inches over here. So, yep, another good shot of water. You can see that water, half inch to an inch totals throughout much of the central part of the state. The planes got skipped, but I guess they're still doing okay from previous storms. This is our first uh, frame of the severe weather climatology. Uh, we are in the end of March. We're entering April where severe weather can start occurring. You'll see this expand and engulf uh, parts of Colorado over the next month or so, and then retreat back uh, as we get into the summer. So we'll add a week of normal expected severe weather. Looking at the actual expected severe weather, it's out here around Chicago and southwest. We've got a chance of convection occurring in the northwest part of the state on Friday. Again, we're starting on Friday this week. And right including Longmont, Fort Collins, and like that, might see a little thunder. For Saturday, that clears out. And then Sunday, we have so the northwest half of the state has a chance for some thunder again. For Friday p.m., we got some snow. Um, they just don't get it that it's too warm here. This should be rain in here, but it's Colorado. It must be snow. I guess that's the idea. Uh, for Saturday, it's just in the mountains. And then for Sunday, we have, yay, rain in the lower elevations and chance of snow rain mix in the mountains. So looking at the ensemble forecast, our normal temperatures go from 58 to 60 for a high. Our normal lows go from 30 to 31. So we're almost going to get above freezing for our expected. Um, best uh, that I've heard is that you should wait until Mother's Day to turn on your sprinkler system. So we can still get some real serious cold air throughout April and into May. Don't do it yet. The ensembles here have a really strong uh, signal for precipitation on Monday. Uh, I'm giving it a lower percent chance, more like 50 to 75 percent chance, but yeah, we'll probably see rain. Uh, we're definitely getting rain now on Friday, and the signal is pretty weak for that. Looking at the moisture, we do have a lot of moisture streaming into the state. Here's a subtropical jet. Here's more flow from the subtropics. And yeah, the West has moisture. California is still getting a lot of rain. Looking to the future, the upper level feature for Monday is this cutoff low with a deep trough extending down to the Southwest. We're here with it pushing moisture back. And in the animations, we'll see that surge of moisture at all levels come in. 
Brings in rain, snow, uh, mix, even the mountain lower elevations will be rain. It's just not a lot of cold air in this and it's moving kind of quickly. Uh, after that, a big ridge return, so we go up probably into our 70s for Wednesday, Thursday, we'll see. But uh, yeah, it might really start to feel like spring. This is a little bit of that low cutoff low still sinking down across Texas with a little cool air pool with it. So let's put this in motion going Friday into the weekend. Here comes our cutoff low rolling through. Uh, when it's not connected to the jet stream well, then it uh, goes slower. So you can see it kind of connects and then reforms again. So into Wednesday, here comes the ridge over us. The midweek is dry and really warm. There's our cutoff low drifting through and eventually reconnects and gets pulled away. Here comes another low uh, for the next weekend. And that kind of swings northwest of the state. So temperatures are above normal going into the weekend. That's the reds, white is normal, and blues are below normal, purples are a lot below normal, pink is way above normal. So for Monday, we do see the cool air come in, a little cold front spread down the plains, sink into Texas with the cutoff low. We are quickly back to above normal with the cool south of us and then south east of us. For Friday next week, still above normal. Then we have cold air coming in from the southwest with the next system. We'll see where that happens. This is precipitatable water, so abnormal atmospheric moisture levels are green, dry is brown, and you can see a good flow from the tropics coming up into this low. It sits in pools for a little bit, gets shoved back around the low, and then gets pushed out. Looking at dew points, this is surface uh, moisture, and you can see the Green here is above what we normally would expect in this area and it's lingering around. The low pulls back a good tongue of 30, 35 dew point uh, temperature. So we're, again, we're above normal, so we probably will see rain rather than snow. It's too warm and then it dries out after that. Let's look at the actual precipitation for Friday. We see the rain coming off the mountains into Sunday. It's north of us and west of us. Then the low forms, gives up slope and rain. Some people might see a change over to snow now and then, especially on Monday morning, maybe again late Monday. But yeah, it's not going to be much on the lower elevations, one to three inches up in the mountains. It's just not a strong storm. So here's Friday next week. <clears throat> There's that low sinking into the west again and passing to our northwest. Looks like a little wave might come through, but the western mountains get most of it. So for the next five days, we might see a quarter inch of moisture. And that doesn't come as snow. Here's a trace of snow on the west side of Longmont. Boulder seeing maybe a couple inches. I think that's really optimistic, but we'll see. And then over the next 10 days, it really doesn't change. There's not much more coming in. The map almost looks identical. So 50s and 60s into the weekend. Uh, Monday, we might only reach into the 40s, upper 40s or mid 40s, but I'm giving it 51. I'm seeing a little warmer stuff there. So 75% chance of precipitation, mostly cloudy on Monday. The precipitation comes mainly Sunday afternoon and evening um, for Longmont. Easter morning forecast, sunrise is at 6.34 a.m. And the temperature should be 36 degrees, so not horribly cold. Mostly clear, 20% cloud cover. Winds east at 4 miles per hour, so you won't feel much of a wind chill if you're going to a sunrise service. Okay, March is also starting too. Uh, sorry, April starting too. So looking back at March, they gave us equal chances of above and below normal. I think we ended up being a little above normal for temperatures. And for April, not much the same locally, but more warmth up across the Canadian border. They gave us above normal precipitation. And yeah, with a few of those storms, especially with a foot of snow and three feet plus in the mountains, four or five feet place, that was definitely above normal uh, precipitation month and they've got us in equal chances of above or below normal with dry below us and moist to the northeast so that's it check out the longmont leader for frequent weather updates i'm going to go do that now <coughs> update it through the weekend this has been chief meteorologist john insworth urging you to keep looking up